Sup guys, Heat King here, bringing you a live reaction to the Resident Evil 4 remake gameplay trailer videos that have just been released. So yeah, I'm going to be going through these, I'm going to watch these, I'm going to give my thoughts on these. Before I start, of course, remember to like and subscribe please. And yeah, let's let's give this a go, let's see how this game is shaping up to look. Hopefully the camera won't shut down, most likely it will. Uh, so yeah, hopefully I'll just record my audio in case it does and it just restart the camera, <laughs> hopefully it won't shut down. Anyway, let's, let's watch this, 12 new minutes of footage, of exclusive footage. I just want this game to come out now, like, oh, anyway guys, here we go. Starting now. Okay, we've got a 12 minute, 20 second video. Leon's going out of a boat. I think it's calling him. Condor one to roost. Oh, the boat sunk. Read me. Condor one, you've been radio silent for three hours. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Won't let it happen. So again. this is definitely after the. Uh, Still looking for whatever. Yeah, this is definitely after the Del Lago oh, boss fight. So it's after the lake. Okay. This is when Leon gets knocked out when he first gets the infection. Like when he starts feeling it, he goes out. So chapter that this is chapter four then okay, <laughs> I think we know when you rescue Ashley it's chapter five. <clears throat> Just look at the way they've done the lighting, in this, and the visuals like it, it looks darker and a lot more creepier. You're going through some caves. This must be new, this whole section here that they've extended the water. Waterway, if you will, the the waterfall section. Here's our first look properly at the uh, last Plaga's parasite coming out. Very parasite. I don't know if you guys ever read that manga or watched the anime. The parasite, the maximum. You can tell the inspiration for Lost Plaga's came from that, so it's great. And you can parry the attacks. You can parry attacks using the knife, so that's cool. And at this point, you can even tell from the gameplay like what he's carrying. I forgot to mention that the weapon layout is very Last of Us, so they've obviously taken inspiration from that. But he's got the sniper, he's got the shotgun and the handgun, so obviously... Interesting. So we've got some ritual sections in this game then. There was one in the original, there was one in the original game where... You find like that slab of wood where it looks like someone's done something in it and then you play Ada's campaign and it was her blood in it dripping. So we get to use the boat, obviously confirmed. This section here. It's probably the cave where you get the key after the waterfall stuff. You come down here and you have to get the key. Or maybe he's already gotten the key and he's going he's going back because you get like a choice in it when you get the key. the. The, the, the wall opens up and you can just go straight ahead and get the boat, right? Or you can go back the way you came. Take the long way. There's a guy for dynamite there. Oh, no, he failed to... Too bad you just can't pick the dynamite up and just throw it back, do you know what I mean? That would have been... Oh, look at that. Yeah, this guy is not playing very well, I think. Uh, is he gonna blow him up this time? Yeah, he did. There you go. I always feel satisfied when you get to do that. Alright. There's definitely new areas in this that have been expanded. Or in this case, old areas that feel new because they've been expanded, technically. So yeah, everyone's going to complain. Oh, you can swap the attacks with the knight. It's like, you can do that in Resident Evil. You can do that in the original Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil 5. You even get a trophy in Resident Evil 5 for doing that. So, it's not new. Okay, what do we have here? Recipes, tune-ups. You can tune up the knife. Obviously, we knew that. That gun, truck gun. The TM the TMP, the machine the pistol. That's what it stands for, isn't it? There you are, as you Does its appearance change at all? 
I didn't notice if I don't, I don't notice if the look of the weapons changes or not when you upgrade it. I, I always like that visual cue. So now we're now in the castle. So this is most likely chapter six. Maybe. I'm assuming everything with Ashley when you rescue her in the church to all the way as you get to the castle is chapter five. So this this is this must be chapter six. So this is new. It's gotta be through that gate. That's a cool setup there. Like, it is the new I enemies. Think our hosts are gonna roll out the red carpet. Again, this game just looks gorgeous, by the way. I, I like these little details they've added here as well. Like, it's like they're setting it up, they're building up. And you can see that shot. Uh, Leon's got the uh, riot gun. He's got the riot shotgun there on his back. He doesn't have the normal one. I'm wondering if you can do this in stealth. Keep your voice down. So this is great. This is a great addition. I like the fact Ashley is still like she's crouching when you crouch. So, so this area is new. This area is new. This is new. Again, another ritual room. So this is cool. Look at that. It, it grabbed the ceiling to attack Leon to jump at him. That's pretty creative, actually. And these things are one-hit kills. But you can, uh, from the trailer, you can you can block their attacks with a knife now, so... God, the detail in this. The... Yeah. Yeah, this section. This entire section here. So annoying in the original. No, it's actually less annoying when you get to the top and you just use your sniper rifle to blow the barrels up so they won't hit you with the catapults. Like, I remember the first time I played this, I didn't realize you could do that. I mean, it's, I think it's on uh, later playthroughs, I was like, oh, I could, I could actually stop the catapults by shooting the red barrels. Okay, <laughs> makes things easier. He's got the uh, rapid fire sniper rifle, the semi-auto. I love the music, how it's updated. Damn, it's locked. Yep. Looks like we'll have to get creative. Yeah. See, there you go, that's one down. I'm coming for you. Yeah, get them while they're down. Oh, you missed. There you go. So this is the part where you have to get the uh the cannon, the, uh, what is it, the, the, the cannon up. You hurt? Uh, no, I'm okay. I don't see a crank there. I'm assuming it's down below because in the, in, the, in the original, someone has to be down there to put the crank up. Unless they move the position up here now, so. Open. You can see Leon's got more weapons now. And you've got a blue medallion there as well in the background that I see. So obviously, obviously the blue medallions uh, are now a constant thing I'm assuming now. So it's not just like in the village like like they're there. I like the option of having these doing these little side quests so that's good. Oh, you can operate the cannon now. See that's new, that's new, that's different. And he can blow the other cannons up, the catapults up. Obviously you have to use it to blow the door open, but that's cool. I bet there's a trophy for that, like kill this many enemies, or kill, or, or use the... Sander. Okay, he definitely looks creepier here. I like that, Ooh, I like you. He, he looks... He looks like a mix of Napoleon and Dracula now.
So I'm assuming, uh, okay, so this is different, but I'm assuming Ramon is going to be watching from up there, and we get an extension maybe? Can you shoot him? If he's still up there, can you shoot him? I don't know. Yeah, that looks brutal. I think I prefer the original intro from the original game. It, it was a bit longer, you learn a bit more, you know, he's like, I'm Ramon Salazar, I'm the eighth castellan of this wonderful castle, etc, etc, and like, you know, you can give us the go, because quite frankly, Mr. Kennedy, you don't mean squat, or... You know, I, I definitely prefer the interaction from the original, but I'm hoping we get, we get something like that more here, so fingers crossed. No problem. Okay, I'm gonna pause it here, I think, because the camera's gonna shut off. Go! Aligato. You speaking Japanese now? What's going on here? So, is this like a mix of uh, the. Uh, the like the play and the. like the American and the Japanese footage mixed together? So. This is the Garados part. This is the. Ooh, the I, I like the Japanese voices. This is the Gyarados. See, I did say they would extend this into a proper boss fight. Yep. Yep. See, I was right. They did do it. Yep. Oh, that look! It looks creepier here. Look at that. If you guys remember, the Gyarados is blind, so you have to use sound against it. You, you can't make noise, basically. I like the added stealth that you can stealth kill him. And look, you have to be quiet. You got all these objects in the way to make noise. It, it's basically uh, RE4's version of the liquor, essentially. Except now you can stealth like attack these guys. So that looked brutal. I'm curious to how, see how gory the kills in this are. Like, like does Leon get cut in half when he does that? Or... Yeah. And then we're going straight to the crowds of fight. Yeah, this is definitely not the island. We are just getting started. Okay, back to English. Okay. I've been spoiled on this already, so. I like that we get to play this. It looks a bit junky, I'm not gonna lie, but it still looks cool. Are they gonna reference what I think they're gonna reference? Operation Heavier? Because if you're remaking a game like this, you have to mention that. Oh. Oh. There we go. They referenced it. They referenced it. This is what I wanted from the remake. I wanted little connections and references like that. I don't know how to feel about Krause's voice. I much prefer the original, definitely. And that's that. Okay. I can pause it here then. Okay, so that's the footage for RE4 Remake that we got. This game just keeps looking better and better. I am very curious where that knife fight takes place. I'm I'm definitely positive it's it's the mines in, in the in the castle. Like, because if you guys remember in the original RE4, Sadler sends Krauser to get Ashley, right, from, from Salazar. We never see that. We just, we see a quick cut scene where he's introduced and it's like, who's this guy? And then they all were told, oh yeah, uh, uh, they took Ashley to the island. It's like, huh? So I'm assuming I'm assuming we're getting an early introduction. And if you've seen the trailer as well, like if you if you've seen the trailer, like I didn't realize this during my breakdown of the trailer when I was watching because it, it was going so quick. But you can actually pinpoint the exact moment where Luis dies in the game now, and it he gets killed by Krauser. Okay, so Krauser actually gets introduced killing Luis because there's a section where where just before you see Krauser like drop down into the frame, if you look down below, you see it. You see a knife. And it's stuck in someone's back, and it's clearly Lewis's clothes and that. So, yeah, Lewis clearly dies in that part, which means this has to be the mines. There's no way he's gonna make it all the way to the island. If he does, that'd be splendid. Do you know what I mean? But uh, I think this works better in terms of the storytelling of introducing Krauser a lot earlier and setting up the rivalry instead of just like, oh yeah, he's this random nobody that just shows up on the island. And you're like, who is this guy? Here, he's introduced early. He kills Luis, so you already so you, you you build up this sort of grudge with him now because it's like okay you want to avenge your fallen friend. Obviously, in the original game it was Sadler who killed Luis, but yeah, I feel like it adds a bit more to Krauser's character because it's like you know it's it's Leon's ex partner, 
like killing sort of his new partner in the situation. So it's like you know that uh, that rival rivalry is now formed, um, and obviously the fact they reference Operation Javier, which is which is great because again. I don't like... See, one of my biggest problems with the original RE4 is that the narrative is all over the place. Stuff just happens and you're like, what? Uh, if you've played Dark Side Chronicles, then you're, f- uh, and y- then you're familiar with Krauser's character early on. You're familiar with Operation Heavy R. And when you're making a remake like this, you obviously want those references in there. Otherwise, it's just gonna... You know, what's the point then? Because it's like, how does Leon know this guy? Like, it's just like, there's no there's no story there. There's no history. We just we just learn a quick, oh, they told you I died in a helicopter crash, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, it's like, who are you meant to be? be- because, like, this is a remake now and we are aware of the past history that Leon and Krauser have, the fact that they've added that line in there, like, adds so much more to, to the depth and the character now because, like, we know where he is. We know where he's coming from. We know how he got that scar on his arm. So I love that. I love the fact that they're referencing that. And I'm wondering if this is potentially like a, a hint maybe that they might end up remaking, uh, you know, Operation Javier as a third person game. Because I feel like, and a lot of people are going to say, oh, just make it DLC. And it's like, no, that, that wouldn't work as a DLC. Operation Javier has tons of enemy variety and locations in that. Like, that's not something you just take and then you make a DLC out of it. At best, it's sort of, it, it would sort of be the equivalent to Resident Evil 3 Remake in terms of, like, it is it is this short experience, but there is tons of enemy variety and locations and boss fights unique to it in that game. So it, it, it's not just a simple, like, plot, do you know what I mean? It's not a simple, like, uh, like, oh yeah, we're just going to make this DLC, it's going to be, like, one or two hours long. It's like, no, it's, it's a full-on game. It's a good... It's a good five to to eight hour game, depending on how you do it. So, you know, if it's possible for them to do that, to sort of make this sort of like mini game similar to like uh, Infamous First Light or Uncharted Lost Legacy, where you sort of got this little mini game that comes out, that would be kind of cool to get. It would be cool to see that, like to get that in a first person perspective. Of course, the game would have to be co-op, but uh, it would work, I think. I think it would work really well. And it fleshes out Leon and Krauser's characters. Plus, I'd like to know, I mean, I guess the, 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 the actual true ending is the good ending where Manuela survives, but uh, I always preferred the bad ending where she dies because it's a lot more sad, a lot more tragic, and it's a lot more thematic to the to the plot of the game, to that to that specific title. So, but yeah, again, Resident Evil 4, man. Like, I'm liking all the additions. I'm liking, I'm liking the fact that this is sticking true to the original, which is unexpected because I honestly thought they would not do this. After Ori 2 and Ori 3 especially, uh, after Ori 3 especially, I did think, okay, they're going to try and keep true as much to it as possible after all the criticism, but they're still going to, it's still the RE2 team. They're going to revamp and change a lot of things. If anything's going to remain the same, it's going to be the village. And if anything is going to super change, it's going to be the castle and the island. But apparently the village and the castle, for the most part, are going to be very similar. They're going to be at least 90%, 95% similar with some new additions and expansions to the environments. But it's the island that, from what I understand from the interview that they did, that is going to be revamped. Like, it's the same length, but it's going to be revamped. So I'm curious to see how different the island's going to be in the final version. But yeah, overall, this game looks good. It's March the 4th right now, so that means we legit have 20 more days until this game comes out. I can't wait to play it. I've already got it pre-ordered. And yeah, I'm going to be buying that... Uh, Dulux content as well, I think, with the soundtrack swap and the costumes. I'm definitely going to be using that so but I, from what i'm hearing from the music so far it, it sounds great so and uh from an interview they did they did say that uh 70 of the music is original 30 percent of it is 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 remixed stuff from the old version so i'm hoping to hear some familiar tunes uh we already got krauser's theme in there boss fight theme which is great i'm hoping salazar's boss fight theme is in this because i really love that one that's probably my favorite piece of boss uh theme music along with krauser's from the original game so i'm hoping that one is in there um, but yeah, looking good. Apparently we got something going on on the 9th. We're getting a, another look at Resident Evil 4 on the 9th. Capcom's doing sort of like a play stream, if you will, a live stream with various games of theirs, with Rory 4 included. Uh, so obviously we're probably going to get the de- demo announcement on that day. Most likely the demo comes out on that day after the event. But, uh, I'm also curious about what, about Ada's separate ways campaign. Like they haven't mentioned or talked about that yet. It's not even been confirmed. So I'm a bit worried about that, but I think I'll leave that for another video to talk about because there's something I'm curious about when it comes to that. Anyway, guys, I hope you like that. I hope you like this. Uh, as always, remember to like and subscribe again. And yeah, 
20 days to go, guys. 20 days until we potentially get to play one of the best games ever again in, 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 with a modern look and spin. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, take care, and I shall see you when I shall see you. Bye.